Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cooking with Mo and Dan. And Dan. Hey, everyone. How y'all doing? We're about to fix supper, and tonight we're making some really, really good and special barbecue chicken. What's special about it? The thing that's special about it is where I work in Chattanooga, Tennessee, there is a gentleman who started a hot sauce company, his own hot sauce, his own recipe, you know, and he, um, he's kind of getting, getting really successful. And, um, he gave me some of their barbecue sauce and I have not tried their barbecue sauce. I've tried their hot sauce and it's yummy. You have ate hot, hot sauce? Well, yeah. You're not a big hot sauce fan. I don't eat it a lot, but I've tried his and it's good. So I thought, well, his barbecue sauce is bound to be good. Yeah. So Tink's been craving some barbecue chicken. So when Tink craves something and wants something, what do I he do? He gets it. He gets it because <laughs> he's spoiled. <laughs> so we're going to make this. What I want to introduce you to is Hoff, the Hoff and Pepper Company. Hoff brand. This is the barbecue sauce. This is the soon-to-be-famous hot sauce, Hoff. And some of y'all, if you are grilling enthusiasts and things like that, you probably already know about Hoff. I've not heard of it. I'm excited to try it. So this is a new product they've got. It's Hoff Smoking Ghost Ketchup. Yikes. It smells, sounds hot, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, it does. I cannot wait to try it. I don't know what I'm going to try it on. I guess fries or tots. Yes. But anyway, um, so we're excited to try the Hoff original barbecue sauce. And I tell you, Deb, what? they uh, took me on a quick tour of their little factory there in Chattanooga, and it was the coolest thing. It's it's really nice. They hand bottle their own sauces. They have this big vat. He said, this is a batch. And this thing, I don't know if y'all can see, but it was a big vat, I guess you would call it, of sauce or hot sauce or barbecue sauce or whatever it was and it's got a little spigot and they take each and every bottle and put it under the spigot so it actually it on. holds it under there and yes. fills it they say when they're when they're packaging their sauce guy scoots his chair up there and does that all day <laughs> oh my so goodness <laughs> i'm like that is packed with loving care <laughs> yeah, you know for sure. <laughs> so they grow their own peppers they don't they don't add any uh, high fructose corn syrup to their sauces, which is big. Yeah. That's a big deal yeah. because most of the sauces and things you buy in the store are full of that stuff yeah. that's bad for you. So we're excited to try this tonight. Yep. Let us turn this camera around and we'll start cooking some chicken. Here we go. Okay, guys, we're ready to put the chicken in the pan. I've got it heating up and I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. So could you use any kind of chicken in this recipe or any kind of chicken like um, chicken thighs or anything, anything like that? you want? Yes, you can use anything. I've got some thin boneless breasts, but you could use legs or thighs or whole bone in breast or, how, or whatever kind you want. You can also use butter in your pan if you would rather use that than olive oil. Either one works great. And this really to me. The recipe for this chicken is going to be your sauce. That's what's going to give you your flavor and all of that. So all I do is I take, I've got four chicken breasts that I have cut in half. Not, um, I didn't split them. I just cut them in half because they were really they're big. thick ones. Right. Well, they weren't thick. Um, they're those thin oh, ones you get from Costco. Gotcha. Okay. And so I, I did cut them in half, though, so you'd have smaller pieces. And that, to me, is plenty. I don't yeah, it really need is. a giant piece. You know, you're too. only supposed to eat a piece of meat the yes. size of your palm. Yes. That's what I've heard. I don't know where I heard that. Especially Maybe since we're going to have some good sides to go with it anyway. So. <laughs> Deb is making her potato salad. We videoed my potato salad before, but we're going to do Deb's this time. She uses a, lot, a little less white. <laughs> I bet y'all can guess. Mayo. I'm not a mayo fan. Not much mayo in damps. You use some, though, don't you? Yes, I put a little in it. But um, the last time I made it and we videoed it, I added accidentally, of course, too much mayonnaise. So, 
And so, yes, we found out you could put too much in. Yeah. And I, I did it because <laughs> I'm used to cooking for the kids and everybody when I make it. And I was really planning for a big bunch, but then I didn't peel that many potatoes, so I had a lot more juice. Okay, so here's my here's my chicken cutlets in the pan. I'm going to go ahead and salt and pepper them. Oh, yes, fancy salt and pepper shakers. Y'all can get these on our Amazon store. And Deb will put the link down in the comments. Yes, you? I will. Okay. I said she would, but then I didn't ask her. If she I would, would do that. Yes, I'll do she that would for do you. That. Okay. But I still haven't gotten me any of them, and I need to. I can't believe you've gone this long without I know. getting those. I just forget. Okay, guys, we're going to let these brown a little bit, and then we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I've let my chicken brown on one side. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over. It's been browning for probably 10 minutes. I just want it to get a little bit brown on that first side. That's what it's doing. Yep. Looking good, isn't it, Deb? Yes, it is. Do you check the temperature of your chicken, or you just check it for Why would you ask me that? Do you know what the temperature is? Chicken? No. I do. I know you do. <laughs> I mean, I do know, but I'd have to look at it again. Uh, it's 165 for chicken. And if you have a good thermometer, you can check it with your thermometer. Mm -hmm. This one actually tells you the temp the amounts mm -hmm. for each thing. So that's actually a great tip. So we we need to do that every time, y'all, because what what we think is done, even though the pink is gone, they say that it might not be done. Right. And so, st can still make you sick. So you should check it every time. Okay, so I flip those over. We're going to let them cook on that side for another 8 or 10 minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we have got our chicken done. It's browned on both sides, and we've checked the internal temperature of it, and it is past 165. So we turn the eye down so it can it cook a little the slower now. Here's one thing I do like about this. It's got a little pull tab on it. That you don't have to sweat while you're trying to open the barbecue sauce. So here's what I'm going to do, y'all. It's going to be simple. I'm leaving the goodie in the pan. You know, Miss Brenda Gant calls that the goodie. Don't get rid of the goodie. I'm leaving the goodie in the pan. And I'm just going to start pouring my barbecue sauce. Whee! I'm going to pull it off the stove. How about that? And I'm using most of this bottle, but not all. Oh, I'll get that later. Deb, I need some water. I forgot water, I, need water, some water. I need some water. Okay. You got a cup somewhere? Well, so Deb's going to get me a little bit of water. And we're going to go ahead and put it. Man, that barbecue smells good. That sauce smells really good. Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some water in. And scrape the goodie. And scrape the goodie. Cause we like that goody. I cracked up when the first time I heard Miss Brenda say that. I'm like, it is goody. What makes everything taste better. Oh, yeah. Now, can you see that, y'all? Yep. Looking Nothing good. fancy, just good eating. That's what Miss Missy, uh, Mountain Cooking with Missy says. But it may not look fancy, and we may not have used a million ingredients, but it's going to taste fancy, damn. Which sometimes I think not using a million ingredients is what makes something well, so much better. And I was telling <laughs> Deb, I, I said, what your where your flavor comes from in your barbecue chicken is from the sauce. So it comes from the sauce. That's why it's important to use a sauce that you really like the flavor of. And so this, we're checking out this new one. This is going to be good, y'all. This is going to be really good. So I've got the water mixed in with it just to make a not it's not real thin because I don't want a real thin and runny sauce yeah. with my chicken. But now I'm going to cut the eye down even more and I'm going to let it simmer for about 35 minutes. And then Deb and I are going to do some other things and then we're going to come back and take a bite. See you later. Okay, you guys are Barbecue chicken using Hoff barbecue sauce is done. The Hoff 
barbecue original barbecue sauce. So it smells fantastic. We can't wait to get a bite. Looks really yummy. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this. Kind of get us some. We let it simmer for about 35, Let me turn the camera down minutes. on it. Oh, yeah. Look how good that down. looks right there. Mm -mm. Looks tender. Looks yummy. And these are just good-sized pieces. I mean, like I said, we're not supposed to be eating chicken breasts that are as big as Texas. <laughs> Anyhow. That's right. So we're going to go ahead make a plate and I'm gonna put two we'll make this okay. pink plate because Tink would good. be he would be um, not happy if we don't give him <laughs> enough barbecue chicken and now Deb's mm. made some potato salad mm. her potato salad it's with my less of mayonnaise salad. so if you're a person that doesn't like as much mayonnaise as Mo does Yummy, and it is good, y'all. Now, we just opened a can of Bush Homestyle Baked Beans. We are doing a lot of things tonight. Um, making homemade baked beans was not one of them. Mm -hmm. But we could do that if we wanted to. Maybe someday we will. <laughs> On camera. Deb. Hey. All right. This is a good, good, good supper. Good looking plate. Didn't take too long, and it's going to be delicious. And Tink's going to be happy, and we're going to be happy, and our tummies are definitely going to be happy. So make you some barbecue chicken. Go and try the Hoff barbecue sauce brands. You can get it online, right? You can buy it online. Um, and we'll, I'm sorry, I don't have the... We'll find out the link and post it, right? We'll post the link. That's a perfect thing to do. So um, y'all go support a local... Um, you know, from the ground up, startup company. I, I really like to do that when I can. And like I said, it doesn't have the high fructose corn syrup in it. So that's a plus. Yeah. That's always good. So y'all try just your simple barbecue chicken meal. Yeah. See ya. Guys, we just realized we forgot to do a taste test for you. So we are going to do that now. very hot but it is so good the barbecue sauce is great oh my gosh mm. really it's got tasty. a kick it's not huge it's not no. bad but it does have a little kick it's just right i don't know what that was i don't know either santa claus gotta go find out <laughs> try, try some it's really good